Hey folks, happy Wednesday. Wanted to bring you a few thoughts today as we continue day by day, sometimes hour by hour through this new normal we have. Um, hope you're doing well. Uh, like I've said before, I hope you sense God at work in and through you and your family during this time. Um, just some thoughts, uh, perspective uh, today. Um, you've heard me mention, and if you've watched any pastors or anybody online, you've heard Romans 8.28, a verse probably that you heard previously that you might be leaning into even a little harder right now. Uh, the idea that uh, God works all things for good uh, for those who love him and have been called according to his purpose. And I'll be honest with you that at the end of the day, uh, for my heart, my soul, my mind, um, that is a buffer, that is a boundary that no matter where I bounce around otherwise, at the end of the day, uh, that is where I land. Um, I know that, I cling to that, um, and I firmly believe that. Um, but in the midst of it, um, even though at the end of the day and at the end of every video um, as a pastor and as a shepherd, um, I want to be positive, I want to be encouraging, and I want to uh, lead you and guide you and hopefully just continue to show you the promises that are in the Word of God that we can lean into. I also want you to know that uh, in the in-between times, um, I got a lot of questions uh, just like you. And, uh, you know, I, I wonder to myself, you know, when is all this going to end? I mean, there's days that literally you just want to say, okay, I know God's promises are true. I know, Lord, that you are faithful in all the things that you do. But, Lord, can I just say this really stinks? Uh, this really, really stinks uh, for, sure, me in some ways, but for families, for people all around the world. This really stinks. And, Lord, would you be quick with your promises? Would you... Uh, fulfill some of these things that we lean into and show us perspective. Um, I mean, I'm not sure uh, kind of some of the questions that you've had, but, um, you know, I wonder, what am I supposed to believe? So many different sources. And even sometimes if people are giving me the same information, the way that they're filtering it, the way that they're presenting it, uh, you end up going, okay, who, who do I believe in this? There's all these different authorities. There's all these different uh, people with credentials and criteria and all this different stuff. And you're like, okay, you're not saying the same thing. And that can be really frustrating. Uh, wondering when this, when this will end. Uh, what it will look like afterwards. Um, when are we going to be able to see each other and be in the same building with each other? <laughs> For me, when am I going to actually get to preach to people? <laughs> where I can see people's responses and get feedback and, and not talk to a, a camera all the time. Um, how do I be a faithful child of God, uh, a faithful shepherd, a faithful dad, um, a faithful husband, and a citizen uh, of this country at the same time and, and evaluate things like that? Um, when am I going to get a haircut? <laughs> I mean, this is the longest my hair has been in decades. And I know for some that's short, but uh, for me, it's pretty long and, and I'm not used to that. And it feels weird. Um, what's the fall going to be like for my kids? Um, two in college, um, M Michelle teaching, uh, one in high school. What's that going to look like? I, I hear things about, uh, you know, no sports. And, you know, we've got athletes in our family and I referee. Uh, what's that going to look like? What's it going to look like when Ohio's talking about a two day week? I, I don't understand that. I don't, I don't get it uh, for teachers or uh, for students. Um, you know, there's just so many questions. And in the midst of it all, the overarching question uh, in terms of the question category, God, what are you up to in all this? These are honest questions that on a daily basis, you know, one way or another, some on some days, some on others days, um, I'm asking myself, uh, I'm asking the Lord, and I'm trying to figure out and navigate. Um, and I just want to let you know that when you're having those questions, uh, you're not in it alone. I don't know how many people you're talking to, but at least you can hear from this guy. These are all very real questions that I don't have all the answers to. Um, and I do bounce around. Uh, I do kind of try to figure these things out as best I can to be as supportive as I can. 
um, you know, in my own walk, to, to, to be navigating my own walk with the Lord and growing and being a uh, self-feeder, so to speak, uh, getting into his word, uh, to be the best husband I can be, to be the best father I can be, uh, and to be the best pastor and shepherd I can be. Um, all these are big questions. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, no matter where I go, no matter how I drift, no matter what uh, directions on these questions I seem to be leaning, I do bounce into, I do hit those boundaries of the Lord is sitting on his throne. I don't have to know the answers to all these things. Um, I can have these questions. I can, I can know not what tomorrow holds, knowing that I know who holds tomorrow. And uh, friends, that's when we come back to Romans 8, 28, and knowing that in whatever way he can, no matter in the way that only God can do, he is working things. He is, he is in the midst of things. He's redeeming things to work out for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. And as we know, ultimately for his honor and glory. And so, uh, friends, no big revelations today, no, uh, no big announcements or anything like that. Um, but just wanted you to know um, that uh, our, perhaps our hearts are beating in a similar way in terms of having questions, uh, acknowledging those questions, and knowing we don't have all the answers, but knowing at the end of the day we serve the one who's seated on the throne, who is sovereign, uh, who is ruling, uh, who is caring for his people and working things out according to his good, pleasing, and perfect will. So um, I hope that's encouraging to you today in uh, whatever way it can be. I just wanted to share my heart a little bit. And uh, I suppose in light of all that, um, I would be remiss if I didn't remind you we do a prayer meeting tonight, Uh, 7 o'clock, Zoom call. Uh, That'll go out in an email, or uh, if you need the link to that and the password, Uh, Just hit us up on our Facebook page or email us. We'll be happy to get that out to you. But um, in light of all these unanswered questions and things we're all dealing with, um, I can't think of a better thing to do than to come together and uh, spend some time in prayer uh, and spending time uh, bearing one another's burdens um, and just lifting our hearts up to the Lord who we know cares, guides, and loves us. So happy Wednesday. We love you. We miss you. And we're praying for you.